to my channel hope you guys are good um what i'm going to be doing today is sharing with you guys the products that have been my favorites for this month and for last now last month i was a little bit late in filming so i'm including my march products with my april products i'm going to start by showing you sharing with you guys my some of my skin products that i've been using so i'll get straight into the video and i will start by sharing with you my actual cleanser which is the Clarins Gentle Foamy Cleanser with cotton seed. It's actually for normal or combination skin. Now a lot of you guys have requested or have asked me um, generally what I use on my skin so this is one of the recommended products that I've been using for the last few months in fact. Um, I actually changed it from using the Pure Melt um, from Clarins Cleanser to this um, just to this cotton seed cleanser now because of the foaming action I, I absolutely love it when um, obviously I get the foaming action on my face with regards to the cleanser because I feel like it's sort of had a deeper cleanse um, yeah so this one smells beautiful it's refreshing and it does an amazing job so it gets rid of all the makeup that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis if I do and it is awesome so yeah that's one of my faves for this month. Next one I want to talk about is um, something new that I've tried. I've not actually used this before and I've been using it for uh, March and I've used it in April as well and I've used it in some of my tutorials. And I think I may have mentioned it, I might not have showed it, but it was it's the number seven Instant Illusions Rapid Radiance Balm. It looks like this and it is basically as it says, um, something that will actually add radiance to your skin. So with this product, you can actually use it with your moisturiser on its own. Um, you can actually mix it with your foundation or a tinted moisturiser well, just to give you that extra glow, the extra radiance to your skin. So when you're feeling like you've got like, I don't know, dead or dull skin, if you just add a little bit of this as an extra boost, um, I think you, you would love it. It is give you a little bit more highlight and a little bit more glow to your skin so yeah it's beautiful it's it's got like a pump thing that comes with it and you just like it, it's it's like a yellowy texture but then it turns into like like uh like a highlight more or less yeah so that's one that i'll be using quite a lot next one is um uh, again another number seven product it's called beautiful skin pore vacuum mask now i don't often get that many pores but I think I do get a little bit across my nose and a little bit on my chin as well so I wanted to try something different and I came across this mask and it's in a small little tube like this it's green in color and how you apply it is you literally cleanse your skin and then you apply it in the areas where you would normally get pores and that would generally be your t-zone so like your forehead down your below your nose across your nose and then your upper lip and like down your chin you apply it leave it for 10 minutes you let it dry and you basically just peel it off and you will actually notice how visibly reduced your pores are which i have found actually especially across my nose i found a massive massive difference so yeah it has been one of my awesome products for this month as well the next one now this is one I've actually had a I used to use it and I've totally forgotten about it and I stopped using it for for a long time it's the aloe vera gel it's a bioactive skin treatment so it looks like this and I actually got it from Holland and Barrett it is amazing like literally what i do with this is i actually apply it um after i've used my moisturizer every night um and i've been using this for the last few weeks um i actually apply it across a whole face and it basically is an overnight treatment and you can use it during the day as well but i would use it as an overnight treatment so you apply it across your skin you leave it on there overnight and in the morning and you feel like your skin's moisturized you can literally peel it off your face um, so it could be for anything, it could be for like just giving it a deep moisturiser, it can be to soothe the skin, if you've got stretch marks, chapped skin or burns, it's perfect for that as well. I mean, if you've got burns and you've got like a mark and you apply it on your um, mark and you've sort of like religiously apply it for a few weeks, you'll feel that the mark has actually reduced because um, I had a, had a burn mark from cooking at one point and I used it continuously and it just totally disappeared I've got no mark left so yeah one of my faves as well 
the last product for skincare I've used is again another Kiko product. You guys know that I talk a lot about Kiko, whether it's makeup or it's foundation or skincare. I do tend to use Kiko quite a bit. Now this is a um, basically to help reduce puffiness of your eyes and dark circles. And honestly, it has been a really, really good lifesaver because like. For the last few days I have been feeling exhausted, I don't know why, but I've been using it continuously underneath my eyes um, and it has honestly reduced the puffiness that I've had from the lack of sleep and also reduced the dark circles as well so I would definitely recommend that product and I like the, the packaging it comes in, also it's not as, as expensive as some of the other um, eye creams as well so yeah that one. The next one is not not to do with not actually to do with skincare, but as you all know, drinking lots and lots and lots of water is so good for your skin because it gives you the extra glow that you need. Also, it's good for weight loss and it's just generally good for your whole body. Um, and to keep myself from drinking a lot more water, I went out and bought myself this funky looking bottle. It's actually a glass bottle because I prefer not to drink out of plastic bottles. I feel like the water doesn't taste as fresh or as nice as drinking it out of a glass. So I invested in a glass bottle which I actually bought from TK Maxx and I find it so funky because it's got like loads of little bits on it but it's, it's a really good bottle. So yeah. I liked that and I've been using that quite a bit. Now going on from the skin products, I want to share with you guys some of the products that I'll be using for my hair. Now the first thing I picked up when I went into Boots is I was looking to sort of bring back my curls because I've had like, I've got curly hair and my curls are dropping because I haven't been for a haircut for like over three months now. I am over well overdue, I know, and I need to get a cut because the hair are getting heavier, so therefore the curls are not coming back properly. So I did in the meantime I wanted to invest in some sort of shampoo and conditioner that would actually enhance them. I can't show you today because obviously they're all up in a bun, but in my next tutorial I will actually show you guys how how it's actually affected my hair. I did wanted to pick up um, this brand product, so it was it's the sheer Shea Moisture coconut hibiscus curl and shine conditioner it's specifically uh, got silk protein and neem oil in it and it's for thick curly hair it's supposed to moisturize curl and define hair now this is actually an amazing product it has got no parabens um, it's got no sulfates no fit no phthalates, I don't know what that means, no paraffin, no mineral oil and no synthetic color basically it's got no bad things in it and it's like a bottle like this and you squeeze a little bit of it into your hair when it's that damp and once you've shampooed it and you leave it in your hair for about three minutes and it, it will actually leave your hair conditioned and it will give it the moisturizer that moisture moisture that you need. So I picked this up from in boots and it was a three for two offer. So because of the three for two offer I wanted to use the shampoo that came along with it. However they were out of stock for the shampoo so I ended up getting the same sort of thing, sheer moisturizer but it's a different different type of um, shampoo. It wasn't from that same brand but it was in the 3 for 2. It's basically Jamaican black castor oil which is supposed to be really 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 good for your hair. It's supposed to strengthen and restore it and that's exactly what it says on the shampoo. So it's for strengthening and restoring. It's actually got with it or inside it peppermint and apple cider vinegar. Both products which are again supposed to be really really good for your hair. It's a natural, chemically processed, colour treated or heat style for heat styled hair. It's restore and repair. So it's basically again got no bad things in it and it's supposed to clarify and remove build up while infusing your hair with moisturizer. It smells really nice. It doesn't um, foam as much as a normal shampoo, however, it is an amazing shampoo. I've I it was expensive, I'd say the three the three for two, even doing that, it was more pricier than what I would normally pay for a shampoo but definitely well worth it because I think it's given my hair more of a lift, it gave it more um, moisturising and it was more volume as well so I, I really love this product. Like I said because it was a 3 for 2 offer I then decided to pick something else up from the same range and I did the sheer moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie so 
after I've actually used both those products, I will then I then usually apply a little bit of this to my damp hair all across um, to give my curls a bit more definition. And I have to say that these three products have been awesome. They have actually done what they're saying. I do want to try this this range of shampoo when it next comes into stock and I will actually let you guys know how I get on with but for now this shampoo has been awesome it really has done an amazing job so yeah those have been my hair products that I've been loving this month and I will continue to use it I think for the next couple of months so going on from um, skin products and hair products I'm going to share with you guys some makeup products and those, I will start with my foundation that I have absolutely loved. Um, it's the L'Oreal True Match Blendable. It's a super blendable foundation. Now, I used to use um, Clarins and I used to use um, MAC as well. And I wanted to use a um, drugstore makeup and I, want, and I wanted to see which one was one of the best. And I've used... I came across this True Match uh, foundation and I absolutely loved it actually. It's, it's amazing. It basically blends into the skin really well. It gives a nice dewy glow. I've used it in a few of my tutorials now um, and the link will be listed below as to what I've used it in as well. I think it was my last tutorial and the one before that as well. If you haven't seen my Kendall Jenner inspired look, I'll link that below too. So yeah. Um, I've been using this and it's in the shade N far N no 3N it's the beige cream so creamy beige um, uh, color now I find that the colors slightly darker for my skin so I might go back in to boots and pick up one that's slightly lighter um, because I've been using the concealer to sort of like make it look a bit more lighter so yeah that's another one yeah, so the next product I'm going to go through is actually the Kick-Ass Powder. It's by its soap and Chlory. Now, I don't tend to use a lot of setting powders, um, generally, because I don't like to. However, if you're going out for a night out, or like you're actually needing your makeup to stay on for longer, it is actually best to use a compact powder or some sort of powder to set it in a bit more so I went out and picked up this um, powder last few weeks and it is absolutely amazing it's, it does exactly what it says it's totally translucent almost weightless and it is a lovely little compact it comes with a little mirror and it's like that um, it's got it's basically awesome the last product um, in terms of makeup that I've been absolutely obsessed with is actually MAC's Mineral uh, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter. It is beautiful. It's basically, as you all know from my last few videos, I have been absolutely in love with the um, Sleek palette, which was one with the highlighter in it. However, I've started to use MAC Mineralize uh, mineralize uh, uh, highlighter. Sorry about that, guys. I cannot get my words out right. It has got a beautiful, beautiful gold, golden sort of highlight, golden glow to it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So if you guys haven't tried it or haven't used it, I would suggest that you use it. It's perfect for spring and summer look. Um, it will just give you that radiance and that glow that you guys want. Um, I'm actually wearing it today, so I don't know if you can see it. But I'm actually loving it, so yeah, go out and get that, it is awesome. And the last thing that I want to share with you, it's neither a, um, well, it's not a makeup product, but it's something that I've been using a lot on my lips, it's called Burt's Bee Lip Balm, it's like this, and again I picked it up from Holland and Barrett, it's beautiful, it's beautiful smelling, but more importantly, it's actually doing an awesome job on my lips, it's basically keeping them hydrated, as it's spring summer time I feel like when the sun comes out you need to take more care of your lips so um, on on day to day basis I kind of wear this like during the day and during the night as well before I go to sleep and I carry it around as well in my bag so that obviously my lips stay hydrated if I'm not wearing any kind of lipstick and generally I like MAC matte lipsticks so and they tend to dry out your lips so you need extra moisture so 
I generally tend to wear this at the moment and Vaseline at night usually so I hope you guys have enjoyed um, watching the different products that I've had to share with you guys if there's any questions or anything like that just leave a comment below um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and like and also um, I've got the links to my Twitter my Facebook like page and my Instagram listed down below so please um, if you haven't checked it out do add me on there um, yeah so if there's any other things that you'd like to know just message me or send a comment so bye for now